Well, hello everyone. We are here in Berea where the Browns are preparing to face the Ravens on Sunday. Both teams are one and three at this point. The big news, of course, this week was Joe Hayden not playing with the broken finger in San Diego. It caused quite a stir uh, when Mike Patton said, hey, it was his decision not to go. Mike came out today and, uh, and, and took some blame for the heat that Joe has taken. And Joe had, said, had also said, you know, it's kind of my fault too. I didn't really let them know uh, just how bad I felt with the broken figure. Yeah, and you hope for the most part that the coach and the very high profile star can put this by him because the last thing they need in that locker room is to be split up. It was good to hear Petten say that. I, I do think Mike probably regrets the way that he phrased a couple of those things that really put his, uh, to, to use his words, face the franchise a little bit in, uh, in a bad spot. Yeah, and Joe admitted that he was upset about it and, uh, and that it hurt him that anybody would question uh, his heart and soul because, of course, that's all he ever wants to do is get out and play and excel for this team. Now, in addition to having a conversation with uh, Joe Hayden about that, he addressed the team in a team meeting. Mike Pettin did today. Uh, I was told that by uh, someone today that said, you know what, uh, he, he just, he manned up about that too. So uh, I thought that was pretty cool. I think he handled it really well. Yeah, uh, yeah, after a couple days of, you know, kind of being out there, I think Mike probably realized, hey, you know, for the, for the sake of the team, for the sake of our, our star player, I need to kind of I don't come clean, but certainly say, I, I phrased this poorly. Uh, you know, forgive me and let's try to move on. And you know what? There's another player that you got an opportunity to talk to and you'll be writing about today, and that is Kwan Williams. He is back. He had three concussions in less than a year. He's been fully cleared to play. And boy, do they need their nickelback back. Uh, he's, it, it's, it's amazing how important he is to this defense when he's healthy and he's playing well. But of course, the big story with K1 is he just keeps getting hurt. And you know, he, he talked to his mom, he talked to his brother about what he should do. He says he understands this. And you know, what's weird, Mary Kay, is they kept saying, just be safe. And, and of course, that is a, a great contradiction when you're playing football because it's such a hard thing. It'll be interesting to see how, how he plays and how long he can keep going. Most of these guys have told me, once you are back to baseline and you've returned back to your baseline line exams, your MRI, your neuro exams, once you're back to that point, then there are no increased risks going forward, regardless of how many concussions that you have had. Of course, there's still a lot of research being done in this area, so we shall see about that. I talked to Tremon Williams today for a while about various different things, and he told me Ooh. that the Browns have checked into uh, they sent in the tape of him jumping off sides on the field goal and that the answer came back that he was not off sides. Mm. And of course, that's blockbuster news, especially in light of what happened at the end of the Seattle Lions game the other night. Well, yeah, and to clear up, obviously, you know, end of the field, end of the game, uh, Traymon was called for off sides. Uh, the kicker, Lambeau, missed the 39 yard field goal, puts it five yards up. They end up winning the game, and and Kwan, or I'm sorry, Traymon got took a lot of heat from, from some people. Uh, that that was a dumb play. Uh, I thought it was just a kind of an aggressive play, and if that's true, wow. And you know what? He he said that the, the tape showed that he just moved so quickly. It looked like he. Uh, was offside, but he actually wasn't. That's the answer that uh, he said that they got back from the league. So again, uh, that is pretty big news. There are so many guys on the Browns injury report this week. Dante Whitner missed practice today with an illness. Uh, there's just a lot of guys out uh, right now. Brian Hartline was on the bike today. There were 16 players on the pre-practice injury report heading into this game. Yeah, we, we try to get some information too out of Desmond Bryant. He's uh, taking a policy anymore. He's not going to talk about his injury. To me, that's a, he's a big loss, Mary Kay. I mean, he's a disruptive force on that off defensive line. If they can get him back, that would be a big, big, big bonus for them. Well, you know, the fact that he was out there practicing today, and Scott Solomon yeah. was back practicing again today. So uh, the fact that Desmond was back, the, the fact that Scott Solomon was practicing, those are all good signs for the Browns heading into this game. Stick with us throughout the week. We'll have it all right here for you on Cleveland.com.